What's up, Fred at Americana YouTube? I'm Jared James Nichols. I'm here with David and Dustin, 606 Studios. Today, 2006 Jimmy Page, Gibson, Custom Shop, Les Paul, to Page's 59 specs, right? This guitar is unbelievable, man. This is like everything you, when I think of burst, honestly, for me, this is what comes to mind. And I remember when I was a kid, I used to watch the, uh, live at the Royal Albert Hall, right? How the West was won. And we used to watch it and we were like, oh my God, it's telling, right? And I remember he didn't have a, a cover. And I was like, oh, that's so badass. How did he get those tones? And he must be, it must be a super hot pickup, right? Uh, it is a super hot pickup. And it's, dude, honestly, when you look at the guitar, it's like got grain inside the grain. It's one of those that really, really f with your head because you just don't even know what, what's happening. Push pull pots, which are super cool, and gives you that totally out of phase tone, either on the neck or on the bridge, and we'll go through that. Right now, I wanna play a little bit. Plugged in, 73 Super Reverb, clean, clean, clean. You can hear how hot, hot that pickup is, right? Baby. Baby, baby, I'm gonna leave you. Leave you in the summertime. What I really love about it though is you just roll it back a little bit. Leave you when the summer comes along. So nice, man. But like, it's got that clarity. Let's hear a little of that clean rhythm pickup, neck pickup. I just want to go like. Man, honestly, I don't play with a neck, like personally, I don't play with a neck pickup a lot, but I might if it. Been working till seven to eleven every night. Wow, man. Like, the cool thing is it's like voiced so openly that you can get all the different tones. You can get that cool whisper. Snap right back into that. There's a lot to be said when you have a Les Paul and you're just plugging into the amp and you kind of just, you are already got the tones, right? Let's put this Les Paul 68 Marshall Super Tremolo 100 watt, unbelievable amp, owned by Ian Ashley Hersey of Rainbow fame. It was his personal amp. It's a fire breather, man. Let's hear this Paul through it.
Yeah. Yeah. I spent the last year Rocky Mountain Way. I couldn't get much higher. Hey, we don't need no lady. Come and come. I mean, man, sustained for days. No, seriously though, this thing's insane, right? Check this out. Let me get this thing cooking. The neck, man, like, they just did it right. Like, you can bend for days, sustain, right? Unreal. So the neck profile on this thing, it's per Jimmy Page spec, right? So it's thin, but then it actually, as you go up the neck, it gets thinner. So like where you're playing your leads, it actually gives you a little more breathing room and then it comes back thin again. So it's like thin, even thinner, and then thin again. So it's really comfy to play. You know, you come down here where you're playing most of your chords. Then once you get up to the middle of the neck, you start to get that. Yeah, th dude, this guitar is insane. It's like everything you want in a Les Paul, man. So the story goes, this guitar, the, ins the inspiration of this was Jimmy bought his 59 from Joe Walsh. And this is what this guitar is modeled after, which is really cool. There's so much history that goes along with the vibe of this whole guitar. And I mean, it's been a long time since I'm back in Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jared James Nichols. Make sure to find me. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, at Jared James Nichols. Fred at Americana TV, so glad to be here. Phil X, thank you. All the best, my friend. Phil X is number one right now. We just found that out. And hey, I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Cheers. <laughs>